Greetings, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today I'm going to show you something that's fun to do with beef brisket. We're going to make homemade pastrami. This is a several day long process, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do to start getting our brisket ready to turn it into pastrami is make our curing brine. I've got one gallon of water in a stock pot here and we're going to start out by dissolving three quarters of a cup of kosher salt and one half of a cup of sugar. And after we get that dissolved, I've got this uh, water just warmed up over low heat for now. We're going to use curing salt. This is a pink salt and this is the source of the sodium nitrite that actually provides the cure for our meat. So I've got two teaspoons of that that we're going to dissolve into this mix. Then I've got two tablespoons of pickling spice and I've got five cloves of garlic that I've just mashed. I didn't even bother to take all the papers off of those. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to bring that up to a simmer. Okay, I haven't actually let this come to a boil, but it's, it's getting ready to. It's close, and we're going to stop it right here. This has been simmering in this hot water for about 20 minutes or so. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to turn the heat off, and we're going to set this aside and let it come back down to room temperature. And when it gets back down to room temperature, I'm going to cover it, put it in the refrigerator overnight, and let this brine chill. After our curing brine has chilled overnight, I'm going to take my brisket. I've got a brisket flat here that weighs about seven pounds, and I've trimmed off a good bit of the fat from the fat cap. So the next thing we're going to do is put our brine in this bag. I've got one of these XL Ziploc bags. You can do this multiple ways. You can put it in a vacuum seal bag if you like. Or you can put it in a, in a pan, a flat pan that's large enough to hold this, and then we're going to dump the brine in. After we've dumped the brine in, we're going to push as much air out of the bag as possible. We're going to put this back in the refrigerator, and we're going to let this cure for three days. And twice a day during this three-day process, I'm going to come by and flip the bag so everything gets a good, even brine. Hey, okay, we've brined our brisket for three days but before we start working on prepping that brisket we're going to fire up the big joe and today i'm going to use the joe blow so let's get it going okay there we go the joe blow lighter uh takes a little bit of the time out of the process there we just spent just a couple of minutes getting to the point where we would normally wait eight to ten minutes so i've got the fire started and now i'm going to position four or five of the kamado joe oak wood chunks right here around the edge the top edge of the fire and i'm gonna set one right on top there And then I'm going to set in the flexible cooking system with the heat deflector in place. We're going to be cooking indirect today. We're going to be cooking at 250 degrees. In order to set the Big Joe up for 250, I'm going to close the lower vent to about an inch to an inch and a half. And with the bottom vent open an inch to an inch and a half, we're going to close the top vent slider all the way and open the daisy wheel fully and let this guy come up to about 250 degrees if we need to make any adjustments during this cook we're going to do it all from the top vent i'll either open this more if needed or i'll close this down some more so we're going to let this come up to 250 while we get our pastrami brisket prepped okay our grill's warming up and i have taken our brisket out of the brine bag i've dumped the brine and i've rinsed this brisket off now we're going to season both sides of it i've already seasoned the back side so we're going to start with a layer of paprika we're going to follow that with a little bit of granulated garlic and then a little bit of ground mustard and some onion powder 
some celery seed, and then the two stars of the show for seasoning pastrami are ground coriander. I would normally like to use uh, fresh cracked coriander, but I don't have any today. So we're going to shake some of that on there. And then a healthy dose of fresh cracked black pepper. And then I'm just going to pat this in and we're going to let this sit here for 30 minutes before we go to the grill. Okay, our grill's warmed up. We're right at just a little under 250. I'm going to open this guy up and we're going to set this pastrami brisket right here on the middle rack of the Big Joe fat cap down. And we're going to cook this uh, almost like we would a regular brisket. Most briskets, you know, we cook up to nearly 200 degrees to get them super tender. This guy's going to come off somewhere between 190 193 we don't want it fall apart tender because we want to be able to slice this thinly so uh, I'm gonna start the timer and we're probably this is a seven to eight pound brisket so we're looking at eight hours of cook time so we'll be back to have a look at this when it's done okay folks 10 hours and 40 minutes on this guy like I said this was seven and a half to eight pound brisket flat the internal temperature of this guy is up to 188 degrees. So I'm going to take this off and wrap it in foil. And we're going to let the temperature, the internal temperature of this guy come down to about 140 degrees. And once it's down to about 140, I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator and let it cool, let it chill overnight. Okay, I've let this... Uh, pastrami brisket chill and it's easy the reason I like to chill this before I slice it's because it's easier to slice uh, or it's easier to slice thin and you're gonna get to see something today you don't often get to see on one of my videos but I made a little mistake here and I'm gonna show you this mistake if you look at this piece of pastrami you can see that it's nice and pink around the edges and it's a little bit gray colored in the middle and what that means on this particular cook is, is that I didn't leave it in the brine quite long enough. Uh, the the uh, curing salt did not get all the way into the meat. I could have left this in the brine for another day, for a total of four days. Or another thing I could have done is I could have pierced the meat uh, on each side with a fork or a knife to open it up just a little bit and let that cure get in there. Uh, I've already tasted this. It tastes perfect. It's got just the perfect amount of salt content and everything uh, came out just perfect on this brisket. The flavor of it's phenomenal. The only thing that's odd about it is that little, that little ring in the middle. And Like I said, you can fix that by leaving it in the brine longer. You can leave this in the brine up to seven days. Uh, I probably needed at least another 24 hours on this one to get it all the way through. But this uh, makes phenomenal sandwiches or however you like to serve your brisket or your pastrami. So uh, give this a try sometime. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, join us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. And if you give this guy a try, you know, let me know what you think. So until next time, this is John Setzler with Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.